Aloha, everybody. Welcome back to part six. We are back in the school, and again, there are decorations for Halloween all over the place. We might be spending Halloween at Bullworth tonight, huh? That sounds like a literal nightmare, and it's so fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we got another mission, and it's right here. It's the candidate. Wolf nerd! Oh. <laughs> How original! <laughs> Call me a nerd. What next? Four eyes? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt All me. All right, you oh. have fun. Hey, what's this? <laughs> class president. Class president, dummy. It says class president. I know. That's yeah. you. I'm the most suitable candidate I know. <laughs> yeah, so is your mom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Don't forget to wipe! <laughs> How's the campaign, Ernest? You'll vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. What if I pay you? Pay me? Now you're talking. I always knew I was a born leader. <laughs> yeah, but unless you buy everyone's vote, you're never gonna win. Because they are definitely gonna ruin your speech at the debate. Oh. oh, unless I had a security manager. Oh, oh, please, please, I don't please, know. Security please, managers, they please. cost a lot of money. Oh, I have money. I can pay you. Good. I've always been a politician at heart. All righty. Ernest is about to do his speech to become president. And we gotta go kick some ass. Because this is, this is gonna be the worst speech ever if we weren't there. Apparently everyone is gunning for him to kick his ass today. <laughs> <laughs> He's pissed off like 20 people. <laughs> so yeah, um, here you'll have to use your slingshot to um, defend Ernest from the people who are heckling his speech. Yeah. My, my biggest tip for this mission is, like, I would always look really at the compass in the top right. Uh, the thing about how it gives you directions in this game is that, like, if you see something as an X, that means it's on the same level as you. Like, if you're ever going to class or something, if something is an X, it's on the same floor. If it's a triangle, it's going to be on the second floor or below you or above you or something like that. And the direction of the point will tell you, like, if they're above you or if they're below you. Yeah. And so, like, if I see a triangle, I know that someone is below me, like, right next to where all the people are sitting. If I see an X, I know they're probably on the balcony where I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just look out for where the X is on the compass, I move my cursor immediately to get there, and then uh, the good news is you only have to shoot these guys one time. You don't have to, like, charge it up or anything. You shoot them once, and they just run off after feeling the slightest rock hit them in the face. <laughs> What a good campaign manager you are. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna ruin this election, I'll tell you what. Using violence to elect your favorite peoples. Well, hey, the, someone just fucking ordered like 20 people to go rush this guy and beat the crap out of him. During his speech... <laughs> <laughs> Politics is messy, y'all. <laughs> Why is he hiring me and not, like, telling the prefects and the teachers, Hey, like, 20 people are gonna rush up the stage and try and kick my ass. Could you, like, I don't know, suspend them or get them in trouble? <laughs> because the prefects probably wouldn't give a shit because it's Bullworth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the prefects are probably rooting for Ted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ted is, of course, the jock candidate, and, uh... You know, I think I think he's got a good chance of winning this one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> never say never, Ernest. There hasn't been a big turnout for Ernest. <laughs> it's like mostly all the nerds in the chairs. <laughs> yeah. I've never actually uh, failed this mission. I don't know what happens if Ernest gets drained all the way, but uh, I don't know, I'm pretty good with this game. I've always been a dead eye shot. Same here, but I probably assume that, like, he does just doesn't finish his speech. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm out of here! Bullworth, you can go screw yourselves! Ah. Also, Ernest wants to take away Jim, because of course, he's a nerd. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Physical education is an atrocity. <laughs> it's what's wrong with schools nowadays. <laughs> How dare they make me play dodgeball. <laughs> The one shock person sitting down. <laughs> He's like, I have to be here. Well, at least Ron Weasley showed up. <laughs> okay, so I'm not the only one who thinks he looks like Ron Weasley. I've always thought that. <laughs> I'm like, why are you a jock? I would think like you'd be the last people that I expect to be a jock. <laughs> so the great thing is we beat this mission and now our slingshot has been upgraded so we can actually zoom in and hit things very far away, so yeah. The super slingshot. Again, the slingshot does not go away. We always keep it forever, so. Super useful to have. Mm-hmm. And you, Carol, you ready to celebrate Halloween? Spooky, scary skeletons. Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I love Halloween. I love that they put decorations literally everywhere. There's like decorations in the dorm, there's decorations in the school. It's like the little attention to detail is so good. Also, the clock disappears on the um, upper left-hand corner um, during this time because the Halloween mission is mandatory. Why are you not in your costume? <laughs> oh why, God. Gary? I. Why? Gary. Why? Why are you dressed as a Nazi? That is your costume, you swine. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Go, rocks. Oh, rock star. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm cursed. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, cursed by brains. Do you know what torture it is to be thinking all the time? No, of course you don't. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. What else is going on? Not much. Let me see. Uh, it's Halloween. All the prefects are at some party, and the teachers are entertaining, I use that word loosely, the kids. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on, you'll see. Let's go get Pete. I got him a real nice costume. <laughs> Guys, I look like a jerk. <laughs> No, you look for Ah! Russell, what are you doing? <laughs> they ruined my cutscene for me. <laughs> See, Russell doesn't need to dress up for Halloween because he's already big and scary. <laughs> he, he's Donkey Kong. I mean, come on. He's Donkey Kong! <laughs> <laughs> so, I foolishly decided to take on Russell because he started a fight with me, but he is the leader of the bullies, and as you can tell from his health bar underneath him, He's still in the green. I have been punching him for quite a while. He got me down to yellow. I just got him down to yellow, but, uh... Okay, I'm in the red. I gotta go. I gotta go. This oh, is getting too Go get intense. your soda. Get your soda. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get soda. I, get no, soda. I can't. No! I can't. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want to fight. I just wanted to do the mission, but these assholes started fighting with me again. Uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta do one thing, though, before we start the night. And that thing is... Look at Pete. He's dressed as the pink Easter bunny. That's nice. And, uh, Gary, he's... He's a Nazi, so I'm gonna yeah, punch him. Yeah, punch! <laughs> <laughs> punch the Nazi. <laughs> Kids, if you ever see a Nazi, punch him in the face. Yeah. The Great Clement told you to. Caro does, too. <laughs> Punch them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gary. If you didn't wear that costume, I wouldn't have beat the crap out of you. <laughs> and that was something I found out during this mission, is that uh, if Petey gets knocked out, if Gary gets knocked out, nothing happens. Uh, with Halloween, you're fine. You just have to focus on doing the, the tasks and the pranks. And uh, this isn't really an escort mission. You don't have to protect these guys, so... <laughs> no, like in my own playthrough that I'm doing separately, um, PD actually got knocked out and it didn't matter. <laughs> How do you get knocked out? Hmm? How do you get knocked out? Um, one of the jocks set up a firecracker display and PD got knocked out because <laughs> he was too close to it. <laughs> come on, PD, come on. 
But the other thing I like about Halloween is that everybody's got a costume. Like, the nerds are wearing, like, superhero costumes, wizards costumes, there's a guy with a devil mask, a guy dressed as an astronaut. Um, Pinky from the Preppies is dressed like some kind of Disney princess. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like Sleeping Beauty or something, I forget. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of collectibles during Halloween, uh, so I'm actually going to be spending this entire video looking for those because there's a whole bunch of tombstones, and if you smash all of them, you get a prize. There's a whole bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. If you smash all of those, you get a prize. And, uh, you know, it's Halloween. I figured I'd show off where all of these things are. Although, there is a thing about these collectibles, and the thing is, if you don't get them during Halloween, they do show up somewhere else in the world, and you can get them then. You can get them later. I believe it's starting chapter five. Oh, not, not even chapter five. Really? Not even chapter five, because like literally um, just before chapter one ends, there's a mission where you go into the boiler room. Right, right. You can, you can smash the pumpkins there. Yeah, because like G Gary takes you into the boiler room, spoilers, but... And when you get into the boiler room, all the jack-o'-lanterns that you didn't smash are going to be in there. And every time you smash one, you know, it says what it just said right there. Like, one of whatever pumpkins smashed. And if you smash all of them, you still get the prize that I'm going to be getting uh, at the end of this night. So, that's thoughtful of Rockstar. They didn't make anything missable. Uh, the big prank mission is missable. That's, like, the one thing that, like, you better do it on Halloween or else you can't do it ever again. And especially if you're going for all the costumes, you'll definitely want to do this mission. Yeah. It's nothing long either. Hey, Pinky. Nice dress. She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was supposed to be doing pranks, but I'm just focusing on the collectibles right now. And I knew where they were. I play tested this beforehand, so. You shall not pass. I love the spooky music in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and like Gary said earlier, uh, the prefects are at a party. So you can pretty much do whatever you want tonight, and you're not going to get in trouble for any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I could punch out all the kids. I could, like, throw stink bombs at everybody, and nobody's ever going to go after me. Like, aside from, like, the people I piss off, obviously. Like, if I punch a bully, chances are the police going to be punching me, but, you know. So you hear that? You can throw firecrackers at kids and you won't get in trouble for it. In fact, just right there, that kid in the astronaut costume just pushed me. <laughs> he wants to start a fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see the school at night, though. It's nice to see everything with a nice misty fog, you know. There's actually no jack-o'-lanterns on the football field, which is surprising. Gotta refill my health because Russell beat the crap out of me. Yeah, you should probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, whenever you're seriously injured, drink Pepsi. It'll heal you right up. I prefer Coke. Well, vanilla Coke is the best soft drink. Okay, we can agree with that. Yes, it is the best. <laughs> vanilla Coke is the greatest cola that has ever existed. It is. That is my religion. <laughs> <laughs> and I can get it easily. <laughs> I live in bumfuck nowhere in Canada, so I can't. It, it, it pains me. You have your arrow bars, but I have my vanilla coke. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every time I take a trip to Toronto, uh, I always, always get vanilla coke because it's not anywhere in my hometown. And I'm just like, I need need to get a whole bunch of vanilla coke i always see a movie in toronto and the great thing about the movie there it's like the imax place or whatever yeah um they always have like these these machines that like let you pour vanilla coke into the cups and stuff and i get like the biggest cup i can i get vanilla coke and then i'm watching the movie and i'm just like this is heaven this is the life <laughs> I broke all the tombstones, so I got myself an Edna mask. Booyah! Now I just gotta get the jack-o'-lanterns and then I'm done. Carol, what did you dress up for uh, during Halloween back when you were a kid? Um, so I had a Pikachu costume. 
<laughs> so I would always dress up as Pikachu, and I had, like, the ears and the cheeks and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. I was a fairy princess one year. I was a witch another year. Recently for Halloween last year, I was Kara from Undertale. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love that game a lot. All you need is love. Yes, you do. Where are the knives? <laughs> All you need is love. How about you? When I was a kid, uh, the first thing I ever dressed up as for grade one was Batman. Aww. It wasn't, it wasn't like the most elaborate costume ever. It was like, I had like the Batman hat and I had like a cape and I wore like a black sweater and black pants and that was it. I didn't really have the logo or anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, it was budget Batman. Yeah. Um, and then there was Aladdin. I was specifically the Prince Ali version, like the, uh, when he's all dressed up. Prince Ali, fabulous, he Ali. Yeah, ba ba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. I loved it because the hat had like, like the turban hat had like a jewel and a feather. And it was great. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I, there, there, for grade seven, I dressed up as James from Team Rocket. <gasps> I had, I had the Team Rocket costume. It was awesome. With the wig? <laughs> I had the blue hair. I had the oh R logo and everything. <laughs> it was incredible. Did you have a Meowth? No, I didn't have a I didn't actually have a Pokemon or a Pokeball or anything. I just I just dressed up as James because I knew that like I was going to be carrying like my bags and stuff at school. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was one year I dressed up as Patrick Bateman, but no one got it. What? How dare they? <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell them you had to return some videotapes? Yes. Did you carry videotapes around you. I didn't carry a videotape. Uh. <laughs> but literally, whenever I said goodbye to people dressed up as Patrick Bateman, I went, I have to return some videotapes. <laughs> American Psycho is one of my favorite movies ever. <laughs> it is it is such an amazing movie. <laughs> so I couldn't help but dress up one year. It was amazing. But uh, I'm trying to think. I know there's been other costumes, but I, there, nothing is like springing to mind right now. It's just like the Aladdin one. Oh, the Aladdin one I have was a costume. obvious. Hmm? I just remembered one. Oh, yeah. I was Naoto from Persona 4 a couple years ago. Ah, nice. Nice. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I, I smashed all the pumpkins, so I got a pumpkin mask, and I will be showing off these costume pieces at the end of the video, so stay tuned if you want to see them. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm just doing the, the pranks. I'm just doing what the kids tell me to do, so I'm going to trip someone with marbles. Yeah. And you can do them to whoever you want. It doesn't matter if they're a kid or a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, there's no prefix. No. So, like... I could go up to a little kid and just punch him square in the face. <laughs> and nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> the fact that I could walk around the school late at night and there's no one in the halls with like flashlights or anything, because that's what usually it's like. Usually they're in the halls patrolling the place late at night, and that's why, like, if you're trespassing at like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., it's like you gotta dodge prefects when you're in the school. But today on Halloween, nobody's in the school. <laughs> Uh, Jack Sparrow's picking a fight with me. You're wearing- you have a peg leg on. You didn't think this through. <laughs> <laughs> Chop off their peg leg. <laughs> but then he, he got scared and he ran away. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I guess my skeleton costume's really spooky. <laughs> so now we're lighting up the Light Volcano 4000, which is basically like, you know, those fireworks you shoot up on the 4th of July. And after a while, they'll just injure anyone near, um, them. Ow! Yep. Ouchie. <laughs> <laughs> Run for your lives! <laughs> That's what- I love that animation. <laughs> Who runs like that in real life? Please help. Yeah. Well, alright. And now this little mummy wants me to put on a kick me sign for someone. So I'll put it on this guy. I missed it. Try again. Missed it. Try it. Stop moving. I, oh, God! <laughs> I didn't mean to punch you. <laughs> I was just trying to put a sign on your back. Stop it, pumpkin head. 
for some dinner while you're at it. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I should have tried this on a standing target, not someone who's constantly walking, but I was like, no, no, I'll get someone who's moving. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so now by completing all the pranks, we've unlocked the big prank, and it's only available on Halloween night, and the clock is um, up again. Yeah, time has started accelerating again. Yeah. So I'll just do the big prank, and that'll be it for the video. I wonder what this big prank will be. What is so big about it? <laughs> not nothing much, really. No, nah, not <laughs> now. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna feed Chad's dog some of this rancid meat. Wait for him to take a dump, and what? then... What the hell? I'm out of here. Whatever, Pete. Okay, let's do this, Jim. I'll explain the rest later. Get over here, you little mutt! Oh boy. Hey! What are you doing to Chester? Watch out, he's a Chad. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, Jimmy Hopkins is the ultimate Chad. <laughs> here you go, boy! How about a little trick for a treat? Yum, 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 yum. That's gross! <laughs> Score! All right, let's go to the teacher's lab. We got a bag of poo. <laughs> so we're gonna put the teachers in a shitty situation by going to the teacher's lounge and putting that bag of shit in there. <laughs> They'll enjoy it. Yeah. Just good old ribbing. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no prefects in the area at all, so I can't really get in trouble here. Don't worry, it'll be funny. Okay, get ready! What the devil is going on out here? Oh, god damn kids! And booyah! Another good deed done. Although the teacher's mad at us now. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one guy who can bust us. Oh god, oh god. I usually slingshot him afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I, already got sh I already got shit on his feet. I didn't want to make his day that much worse. But uh, yeah, folks. Now we're done with Halloween. Figured I'd show off the unlockable costume pieces that I got. By doing the big prank, we now got a red ninja outfit, so we can look really badass when we're sneaking around. Oh yeah. <laughs> also, something interesting about Jimmy's room, which I really like, is that this place actually gets more decorated the further you get through the game. So like the tombstone you're looking at, the pumpkin head, or the jack-o'-lantern rather, those wouldn't be there unless I hit all of those collectibles. The V is for Victory Earnest poster? That happened after I did the candidate mission. Those three things were not in my room, now they are. So by completing missions, or certain ones in particular, you can get more decorations for your room, which is a really nice touch. Yeah, when you have like 100% completion, this room looks pretty cool. Yeah. And there's my pumpkin head mask. Ah, spooky. It's actually pretty wicked, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you can wear these costumes during cutscenes and stuff, so you can keep them on and that's how it'll be in the cutscenes. <laughs> We haven't gotten acquainted with Edna yet. She is the cafeteria lady at Bullworth, but uh, you will be seeing Edna very soon, don't you worry. Yeah. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys in part seven.